Hello, in today's video, we are going to dive deeper into the application of BPMN by describing how to apply loop tasks to your business process model. In the model, we depict how our process starts using the parallel gateway for instantiating the process. We depict two events, an intermediate timer event and an intermediate conditional event. The key to remember with parallel gateways that instantiate a process is that both events will occur at the same time. Let's assume that the condition new account registered occurs. In this instance, we depict how our system creates user profiles and categorizes the user with service tasks. We also use the loop task marker to illustrate that these tasks will continue to loop until all user profiles are created and all users are categorized. A loop task marker is depicted with a looped arrow. Now let's examine when the intermediate timer event daily occurs. In this instance, we use an expanded subprocess compile system event logs to examine three service tasks. We use the loop marker for the expanded subprocess. Doing so, we are indicating that the expanded subprocess and the activities contained within will continue to execute until the prescribed number or loop counter is reached. A key thing to remember is that the loop task marker can be applied to call, transaction, event, or normal subprocesses. A loop task marker can also be depicted with the compensation task. We can also select ad hoc with the loop task marker. If we want to illustrate that not all of these tasks needed to be completed while looping. A key thing to remember when using ad hoc, at least one task needs to be executed. Once the number set for the loop counter is reached, our process flow continues. In this instance, we join using a parallel gateway to prepare reports. Thank you again for joining us in our discussion on task markers. Please leave a comment below to let us know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to hit the like button. Also, if you're interested in learning more about BPMN, please subscribe to our channel as we have a wide range of videos that discuss how you can apply BPMN.